good morning friends uh, this is babu rai pudi this is my uh, first video on indian economy i am the director of uh, edubrick ias hyderabad and bangalore uh, the basic objective of this video is to give you fundamentals basically my my objective is not to tell you everything in depth but uh, i think a lot of students many a times uh, they get confused on fundamental things so i i really want to bring you basic objective of uh, economic concepts so today i have taken a concept called a fiscal responsibility and budget management act of 2003 frbm act of 2003 was enacted in 2003 and it uh, has come into effect on in the year 2004 before i go ahead with the uh, objectives of uh, frbm act of 2003 i really want to tell you why this act was passed what was the objective behind it what exactly it meant for anybody when it comes to indian economy all right let's move on to the next slide and see the next slide uh, it clearly says before if you want to understand uh, very clearly what is uh, uh, the objective of uh, fiscal responsibility and budget management act i want you to understand uh, two things very clearly number 1 what is budget number 2 what is all about deficit though i'm not here uh, in this uh, video to give you in detail analysis of what exactly is the deficit but uh, this video is going to bring you very clear information about what is the objective of frbma act of 2003 look at this so we have uh, a uh, budget budget in general sense as you are all aware uh, it is an estimated expenditure and revenue i repeat budget is an estimated expenditure and revenue clear next in this uh, expenditure we have got uh, two things one is revenue expenditure second thing is capital expenditure and i've already given a uh, few examples that is revenue expenditure such as uh, the money which is incurred by the government on interest payments subsidies given salaries uh, paid uh in other words uh, uh, one should be able to understand exactly what is this revenue expenditure in a general parlance we would say the running expenditure of the government could be called as revenue expenditure in this context though i'm not uh, uh, trying to explain very deeply what all uh, what is all about revenue expenditure but i'm trying to tell you one thing very basically that is revenue expenditure is basically running expenditure of the government there is another expenditure that is a uh, capital expenditure this capital expenditure clearly tells us uh whatever loan that is given by government to states whatever loan uh, repayments that we have done and plan expenditure and we have capital expenditure that is uh, incurred on um, infrastructure development in other words i want to put it in this way if you are a student coming from science background or if you are a student coming from economics background in a simple language if you really want to understand the budget is about uh, an estimated expenditure and revenue a lot of times it so happens government will be more ambitious about uh, increasing welfare of the society and government really want to do something for economic development and growth so thereby you cannot imagine budget without deficit so but unfortunately most of uh, the reasons for budget deficit in india is basically revenue expenditure all right now if you could see uh, i have given uh, here there are three types of deficits uh, revenue part i'll focus later but the budget deficit is basically when the expenditure is more that is revenue minus expenditure then uh, if you want to understand fiscal the moment you hear the word fiscal you always understand in indian economy government policy towards three important things will be telling us exactly what is fiscal policy though i'm not here to give you the objectives of fiscal policy i just want to tell you why do we use the word fiscal the word fiscal we use when we want to reflect upon the government policy towards um, towards uh, revenue towards uh, expenditure towards uh, debt of the government i repeat in short form we can call it as red policy that is revenue of the government expenditure of the government and uh, debt of the government as you all know these three things are very important these three things have to be managed properly in the economy if in case you are not able to manage these things properly then um, the stability growth economic development all these things employment are going to be affected very badly 
so in simple sense if you could see in the slide uh, budget deficit is uh, revenue minus expenditure and fiscal deficit is budget deficit plus borrowings and other liabilities whatever government has incurred and we have one more deficit called revenue deficit that is total revenue minus total revenue receipts minus total revenue expenditure i repeat budget deficit is all about revenue uh, the difference between revenue and expenditure and when it comes to fiscal deficit since we are more worried about debt so whatever budget deficit we have plus the borrowings and other liabilities the meanings of borrowings and other liabilities in the next video i'll bring up as of now my focus is to tell you what exactly is the objective why frbm act of 2003 is passed then if you could go back to if you could go back to the next uh, first slide what is the objective of frbm so as you uh, have seen just now uh, government of india is spending a lot of money uh, on running the government so revenue expenditure is more so it's a high time that we need to uh, reduce this so fiscal responsibility budget management act the primary focus is on reducing revenue expenditure therefore we call it as revenue led fiscal discipline am i clear the next thing is apart from having a target of reducing this deficit like revenue deficit has to be decreased by 0.5% every year and uh, fiscal deficit has to be reduced uh, by 0.3% every year so there's a target set when this act was passed very clearly and if you could see carefully uh, the second important uh, objective of uh, fiscal responsibility and budget management act better outcomes of expenditure say for example i spent uh, 1 rupee on so and so objective my objective is uh, to have some uh, what do you call uh, infrastructure oh, sorry uh, whatever whatever i mean why did i spend i spent for so and so objective am i really earning something am i really earning some revenue on that common sense if you apply when we spend money we need to ensure that there will be a return on the expenditure if in case there is no return on the expenditure then it's a waste of spending money in a common parlance anybody any individual uh, will definitely think about it right 1 rupee spent there should be 1 rupee revenue at least so government was very serious lot of money which is incurred is actually not uh, giving outcomes therefore government uh, has decided through this act a certain amount of discipline and prudence has to be ensured that uh, returns have to be there there are other miscellaneous objectives that is um, we have to you know augment the resources revenue capacity and we have to ensure that uh, borrowing from rbi has to be minimized as better as we can and the proper tax compliance so that revenue resource can be maximized so guys um, uh, fiscal responsibility and budget management act of 2003 why was it passed to ensure that there is a revenue led fiscal discipline what does it mean to decrease the revenue expenditure which is spiraling over the years in the recent past if you could see the many highlights number 1 to reduce fiscal deficit number 2 rules for annual target that means how much is to be decreased means a uh, fiscal deficit has to be decreased by how much revenue deficit has to be decreased by how much as i already covered revenue deficit has to be decreased by 0.5% and fiscal deficit has to be decreased by 0.3% the next thing is uh, we need to ensure unless and until uh, the expenditure is related to social services national security concerns let us not uh, have this deficit at all that is fiscal deficit and revenue deficit though it is impossible for the government but eventually the main objective of this act is to gradually reduce this deficit over a period of time then uh, as i told you very clearly government has uh, uh, decided that uh, it's better to you know uh, reduce the dependence on rbi unless and until except by ways and uh, means and advances all right now we want to also ensure that in all fiscal operations that is in expenditure revenue and uh, debt we are expecting basically transparency that means there should be a disclosure of all the items on which government has incurred so on and so forth so finally i want to tell you one thing in this video that frbm act of 2003 was passed in the year 2003 and uh, it has come into effect in 2004 with the objective of reducing cutting short the revenue expenditure which is spiraling over the years if you could see 2016 and 2017 uh, union budget finance minister that is central government has uh, come up with new suggestions 
on uh, FRBM. Number one, so earlier we had uh, one thing. I repeat, FRBM Act of 2003 made it very clear every year we should have a target to reduce fiscal deficit and revenue deficit. I hope that was clear. I repeat, FRBM Act of 2003 had set a standard and a target uh, saying that uh, revenue deficit should be reduced every year by 0.5%. And uh, fiscal deficit has to be reduced every year by 0.3%. That was the target. So, government has recommended it's better to have fiscal deficit range instead of having a fixed number like 0.5, 0.3. And government is uh, aiming at more of consolidation. When, when we use the word fiscal prudence and consolidation, government is very particular about where the money is being spent, whether outcome is there or not, whether every expenditure has been disclosed, or not disclosed, so on and so forth. So guys, uh, finally, I want to conclude saying that uh, Fiscal Responsibility uh, Budget Management Act 2003 is basically to ensure revenue-led fiscal discipline and better outcomes on expenditure. And there are many changes. There was a, later on a committee which was appointed. There are many suggestions latest have come. In my next video, I will come up with a small concept in Indian economy and Indian economy related current affairs. Keep watching this. Please do subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. God bless.